Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create and fulfill bundles like a pro in Shopify. And this is a really powerful strategy. We're gonna jump right into it. And bundles are a must have right now for e-commerce stores. It doesn't matter what you're selling, whether it's uh, physical products, digital products, t-shirts, apparel, drop shipping. This could be the missing piece to increasing your profit margins on your store. And again, this is a must have strategy for all e-com stores. It doesn't matter what you're selling because with bundles, you could significantly increase average order value, conversion rate, and of course, the most important thing, your overall profit, the money in your pocket, the bottom line for your business. And it's a popular e-com strategy because it works. And what a lot of stores are doing right now are curating smart collections into bundles to give the customer exactly what they want. And really, especially if you have a niche store, this works super well. You kind of group your products together and you present them all in one. And there's a lot of different ways to do bundles. I'll show you a couple of examples, but there are also a lot of pain points when you want to go ahead and implement this. Number one being there's no built-in way to do this with Shopify. You're going to need to use an app. And the app must allow for a wide array of bundle types. This is the really important part. We don't need to make this technical or have to have any code or anything, you know, kind of challenging at all. We want to be able to very easily set up different bundle types, whether it's individual customizable products, whether it's preset bundles, whether they can customize a bundle, right? All these different options for your customer. The idea is that we're using bundles here to give the customer exactly what they want. And we want to be as flexible as possible in that. And really another important thing is the app must make fulfillment easy by splitting the bundle into line items. We don't want to create new products and mess up um, you know, our fulfillment. This is especially important for things like automated fulfillment with print on demand or drop shipping or fulfillment companies. So we want to make sure we have an app that can do that. And that's the reason why I use simple bundles. I'm going to show you in this video. I highly recommend it. It's really going to give you the ability to not only create highly flexible bundles, but also to make fulfillment super easy. It keeps all of your original product SKUs in there. So when you're doing fulfillment, you're simply just seeing line items of products instead of a new product called, let's say, holiday bundle. It will actually show you, and I'll show you over the shoulder. It's going to actually show you what's in there based on the SKUs. So really, really powerful there. And you see the link directly below this video. I'm going to show you the simple bundles Shopify app over here. And you see almost 120 reviews, close to that five out of five star review, because it does a great job of not only creating those flexible bundles, but allowing you to have individual SKUs broken down for fulfillment. And that makes it incredibly easy for you to just continue doing the things that you typically do in terms of fulfilling your product. So we're going to have multi-SKU bundles, right? Multiple products, but they keep their individual SKUs. And again, this is super important for things like inventory syncing and fulfillment. And we'll be able to add SKUs to a bundle, literally just kind of pick and choose the different products in your store. And in this case, we're creating a chocolate bar bundle so that we can literally choose the quantity of which products are going to be in those bundles. And that's just one example, right? But you see when someone orders a bundle, in this case, the award-winning chocolate bar bundle, you see all of the different individual line items down here. And this is incredibly powerful, right? When you're going to fulfill you're not looking to find this product, right? You're going to actually fulfill the products in the bundle. So this saves an unbelievable amount of time. This also creates the ability for you to work with fulfillment companies or to do print on demand or drop shipping or even a combination between the two because all of these products are treated individually. And that's very, very important. You see, can break down these orders into ShipStation or Amazon, Recharge Shippo, right? Even custom 3PLs. Basically, you could do any type of fulfillment that you want because the individual line items, the individual product SKUs are preserved. And that's a really, really underrated part of this app. Probably something that you didn't even know that you need, but when you're really getting into bundles, it's something that's gonna help your workflow a lot. And on top of that, there's literally an infinite amount of bundle options. You see over here, creating a little uh, pet bundle, a pet food bundle, where they can pick and choose the actual, uh, in this case, treat flavors. Right, so if you have, let's say, 100 different treat flavors, they can come over here and select, in this case, four. And you see how the order comes up. Treat flavor one is this skew, and treat flavor two is this skew. So when it comes to fulfilling, you have all of that um, information right there. Mix and match bundles are also very cool. You can do product with variant options. Really, the bottom line is you could do any type of bundling that you could imagine over here. All you need to do is click the Add App button to get this into your store. We're gonna go over the shoulder now and I'm gonna show you more about Simple Bundles. You're looking at the dashboard over here for Simple Bundles and there's a lot of great information over here. I'm gonna walk you through kind of what you want to pay attention to, but I definitely recommend clicking through all these different links. They have really great support. 
they're going to kind of show you the different types of bundles. For example, the mix and match bundle. This is really cool. And they have these kind of walkthrough step by steps. So you'll be able to take a look at FAQ. Again, you can chat with them at any time and a couple of more kind of um, call to actions down here. But we really want to focus on the different examples that are out there. And we're going to be talking about creating different bundles. And this one, as an example, is mix and match bundle with product options. And you're going to basically see that customers can build their own uh, their own bundle here. And this is really powerful when you have lots of different types of products in your store. And you see this is kind of an example. We'll build something on a uh, live demo store so you could actually take a look. But you see that there are different selections for apron, for dish towel, for bag, right? And you're able to select these and the customer can then select them individually. And what we want to do is basically go ahead and have a product page with different variants here representing our different options. And that's the really cool part about, uh, you know, simple bundles is it's keeping all of your original product information, regardless of how you set up the product, it's going to allow for that easy fulfillment. So you basically go and create a product just like any other product. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I've created this product in the back end. I just named it simple bundles example. And basically what I set up are different variants and in the variant options makes a little bit more sense over here. We see that we have different uh, setups here. And of course, this is not set up for a bundle yet, right? This is just step one in terms of creating this product. Here's our product page. It's now live and we've set the customizable bundle options as different variants for the product. Now, what we need to do is actually go over here. You see, this is basically how I've set it up, right? We have variant one in this case being t-shirt choice, variant two toy choice, variant three gift choice, right? They're going to be able to put three different products into their bundle over here. This is how they set it up over here in the example. We basically did the same way. Now what we need to do is go over here into simple bundles and select build bundle. We're going to actually create our first bundle over here. So I'm going to go back into the app and we're going to click build bundle. So we're going to come over and search for this product. So again, we created that product over here. This is that bundle product page. So I'm going to come over and look for simple bundle mix and match. Here's that thing that we just created again, showed you it over here as a little example. We're going to click add. So now that we have a product in our bundle, we're going to now have different or I'm sorry, now that we've set up our uh, a bundle with an actual product that can be purchased. Now what we need to do is actually set up the variants and set up the bundle type. You see this note over here added to the order at zero dollars each. Again, this is to help with fulfillment. So they're going to add this product at fifty nine ninety nine and then the products inside this bundle, which we're going to set up in a second, are going to be added to the order again for easy fulfillment, for automated fulfillment, your print on demand, your drop shipping, your fulfillment centers, right? It's all going to work right through here. And we created different bundle options and we see all the variants right down here. And these variants are actually just different combinations of what people can select. So for example, if we look back on the product page, we have the all the cats t-shirt. We have the wearing LED balls. We have the cat mouse pad. If we take a look over here, we see this selection over here, all the cats whirling LED cat mouse pad, right? Just representing different options. We could also find this option, right? Cat yin yang t-shirt, automatic feeder, three tier power tower. That's right over here. So you have all the different combinations over here and you see as you click from one to another, we go to different pages where there are different options to set here. Right? And what we want to focus on is the add product section okay? because they're going to buy this variant or they're going to buy this bundle that we created, but we need to include the actual products. So now what we're going to do is come over here. We're going to click add product and what we're able to do is actually go ahead and look for the different variants that are out there. So as you see here, I've added the actual products that are relevant for this bundle, right? Again, this is just totally dependent on which products you want to have in your bundle. Let's say you wanted to have an all toys bundle. You could do that. You just create a different one. You call it maybe a cat toy bundle, right? This is just a simple mix and match and the product options that we selected. You basically have two options each time. You could have infinite options up to a hundred variants and you'll be able to then see the actual package. So, if they were to cr uh, click on these combinations, all the cats, whirling LED and cat mouse pads, we'll go all the cats, whirling LED, cat mouse pad, right? This combination is now linked to this variant and this variant contains these three products. And it doesn't matter if these are print on demand, drop shipping, you know, in-house fulfillment center, combination of all of them, they're going to get fulfilled automatically inside of Shopify, just like any other order. That's why we're adding these products to the step, right? And you see, here's the second variant, all the cats, whirling LED, three tier power towers. So take a look at this section right here. When we click into it, we have almost the same, but we change it over here. We now have the cat toy 
three tier tower power with the whirling LED balls and the cat t-shirt. And we'll basically just set them up for each of these and save as we go along. And that's all that you need to do. And again, you can kind of go through here. This is the end of the, uh, the checklist over here for how to set this up in terms of the mix and match. And now if we come over here and we reload this page, everything is going to look the same. But in the back end now, let's say we do all the cats, LED balls, three tier power tower. Or right, we go ahead and add this to cart. So just like any other product, it's added in the cart. We see the actual options here so they can confirm, making sure that they pick the right options. They see this in the cart as well, having the actual um, bundled options. And then they just simply check out, just like any other order, they'll pay the $59.99. We'll come in though and see orders. We'll see this bundle order, then inside line item by line item in the bundle order, we'll see these products and they'll be fulfilled just like any other product would. Print on demand here, it's gonna be done automatically. Drop shipping gonna be done automatically. Again, because these are just your typical products, the bundle is not changing anything, especially in terms of the customer's point of view. They're just selecting their bundle and checking out. And in the back end, all the products get fulfilled as normal. It's incredibly powerful. You'll be able to see everything here on the dashboard. Of course, you can click back in and check out different bundles like the mystery box, which is really cool, subscription bundles and product variants. You can take a look at any of your live bundles over here in the bundles section, right? We're seeing the ones that we just created and you'll be able to edit all of your preferences over here in the preferences section. It's pretty simplistic over here, right? Pretty simplistic. You could deal with your plan and all that stuff over here, but it's a very easy to use app. But as you can see, it really allows you to create those really cool bundles. That was just one type, right? There's so many different ways to create cool bundles over here. We see it in action live in uh, this product right here with the mix and match. And overall, when you use the Simple Bundles and Kits app, you're gonna have all of that flexibility. So as you can see, Simple Bundles, incredibly powerful, also incredibly easy to use. Make sure you get this set up in your Shopify store, highly recommended. You see the link directly below this video. Again, all you need to do, just press this Add App button, get it installed right into your store, super easy to use, highly recommended. Hope this helps you grow your business, and I'll talk to you real soon.